Now let's start to write test for a real Laravel project. Simple project, but a real one. So I've prepared the project itself before the testing, but the code is written, or at least the beginning of the code is written. It will be just a list of products based on Laravel Breeze with really zoomed in version in my browser. It's just a products list. So in the controller, we have something like this, get the product, the model, in the routes web, we have resourceful controller. Later, we'll fill it in with create form, edit form, and stuff like that. All the CRUD operations. And in the blade, we have a for each loop or for else to avoid the if for each. And in case of empty products, we have no products found, which is exactly the case currently. No products in the database, empty table. And first test that we will write is testing that the table is empty. To create a new test, we can run a command php artisan make test and you can call your test class however you want for example everything around products we will put in the products test class so products test and it will generate a feature test for us in the products test here in the test feature and it also generates example test for us so we would know the structure roughly and what we need to do this get products like this and then assert status, I will leave it as it is. So we test that the request is successful, but also we will add response, assert C, the text, assert C. And what are we looking for? For no products found. And I will copy that from index blade because it uses for translations for multi-language, the double underscore function. So I will copy and paste exactly this text here. And also let's delete our example test because we don't need that anymore. We will launch only product test and remove the comment because it's pretty useless to be honest. Or you can leave it and edit the contents, but I prefer for test itself to be readable without any comment, which leads me to renaming the function name. Instead of test example, it will be test homepage contains empty table, for example. And now let's relaunch our test. So PHP artisan test will give us two past tests. The unit example test, which we will get to in later lessons about unit tests. So we focus on the feature tests and we have homepage contains empty table successful. In later videos, we will test the product table to be not empty if there is at least one product. But for now, let's try to add a product to the database manually. So in here we have products, it's empty. For now, let's add test with one, two, three, with whatever name and price. And then we reload the home page. It should contain test and one, two, three price. And our test should fail at the moment. So we relaunch the test. Artisan test should be one passed and one failed. So assert C no products found is not true anymore. And let's create another test that would test that the home page table is not empty. So let's just copy those. Test homepage is non an empty table. Test homepage contains non empty table in case the products exist. And we will add those products to the database here directly. In the later lesson, we will learn how to do that on a separate database to not mess around with live data. But for now, let's just kind of violate the rules and create the product inside of the test. So we create the product like this with just name and price something. So what I'm showing now is not actually how people do that in test, but I want to simulate both scenarios, empty table and non empty table. So price one, two, three, and then assert status should be still 200, but assert C should be false, which is the opposite assertion of assert don't C like this. And those both tests should be successful in case that database is empty at this point then it gets filled with the product and then this becomes true. So let's truncate the table. Again, I'm playing around with totally demo data so I can do whatever with my database. With real data, you shouldn't do that and we will get in the next lesson how you deal with that. But for now, truncate the products. So the table is empty and now let's launch the tests. PHP artisan test and three past tests. And if we take a look at the database, we refresh and we have that product created in the database within our test. So we simulated both situations, empty table and non-empty table.